Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we will be working on the Volkswagen MK5 Golf right here at the shop. We got it. It has an oil leak. We'll show you. We'll show you what's wrong with it, where the leak comes from. It's a common thing. We've seen it on many Volkswagen Jettas as well. But the 2.5 five-cylinder engine. So stay with us. We'll show you that. So. Uh, as you can see, let me show you how bad the leak is. We're taking that thing apart, we need to do a few things. And you can see there is oil everywhere on this thing. It's just so much oil, so much oil. It leaked like crazy. It probably leaked about a cold for every 200 miles. So we're going to pull that sensor right here, okay? And we need to pull that one as well. We'll show you where the leak is. We already kind of like removed the cover so we can save you some time. All we have to do remove that uh, that clamp right there, and there is one more here. And you need to pull the engine cover all the way up. It has it goes in a few rubber bushings, so it comes only in an angle. Okay, you will see came out of there. Uh, now we need to. We got this hose loose already, but those what you do in order to remove it, you need to squeeze on these parts right here and it will open one on this and this side and you can pull them out. All right, let me show you where the leak is now. It's it's pretty big leak, it's ridiculous. You can see there is oil right here. It's under that gap. The, uh, there, there is a problem right there. You can see the bottom of it is covered in oil and also as well right there you can see we have more oil and we even have oil dripping. Okay, right, so now with the T25, if we leave that hose right there, you can you can access the port. Okay, let me see if I can get a view there. It's, it's a ridiculously tight space. Okay, so there is two bolts on the bottom. Right there, you can see one is on the left, the one we're working on. And there is one on the right side as well. Okay, so you need to take those off. Trying to get more light so we can show you guys and you know what to do. There is a few weak spots on those golfs. Otherwise, they're pretty good engines at 2.5. Not so good on gas as you think, but it's it's a pretty big engine. So okay, and that one there. We need to take this one off as well, and we'll see what's under the cab, what's causing the leak. So if you need if you if you need help with anything, let us know. We'll have many videos. Don't forget to to subscribe, check it out. Okay, right there, second boat. You can see, and now we have two on top that we need to remove right there, which are a little bit easier to get to. Okay, we almost got it. Just make sure you don't drop them because otherwise sometimes it's hard to find it. Okay, third boat coming out and now, now one more right here on top, top left. This one is the easiest one to get to. Actually what you can do, you can actually remove the, uh, the battery, you can remove the mount for the battery, uh, the support as well, and you can get them super easy that way, but we're trying to do it with less work, trying to avoid unnecessary work, but sometimes it's easier to do it by taking more things apart, okay, and there is a no ring as we can see that definitely looks like that's where the leak started developing. Okay, need to lift it up now and pull it out of there and see what's causing it. Okay, you can see that's the O-ring guys, right here. That's what's causing our leak. You can see it's not sealing it. And that's the cap, that's the lid right here. And uh, you can see it wasn't sealing good. So, so definitely what was causing our leak here. So you need to get a new uh, new new gasket for that it's not even an o-ring it's a little kind of like shaped like oh but it's different so you need to get a gasket special gasket for that thing 
Okay, so with a small screwdriver, you can pull it out. Okay, that's what it looks like. And that thing, that thing is like plastic, guys. It's, it's not flexible at all. And this one should be, should be really, really flexible. Needs to be a little bit thicker as well. And this one is not thick enough. That, that's for sure. So you definitely need to get one. Uh, in our case, we don't have one right now. We want to diagnose what it is. So uh, what we'll do, we'll just apply a little bit of silicone until we get the new one so we don't have a leak until we move the car around the shop. So that's how you guys remove it. You pretty much put everything together in reverse order. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.